to some health news now. There is a new push to make school breakfasts and lunches healthier. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has unveiled proposed guidelines to reduce both sugar and sodium in school cafeteria food. And starting next year, schools would start phasing out refined grains in favor of whole grains. By 2025, sugar in sweetened yogurts, muffins, cereals, and chocolate milk would be reduced and sodium cut by 10 percent. Those sugars and sodium would be reduced further in the years to come. Joining us now is Dr. Don Schifrin with the American Academy of Pediatrics. So, Doctor, thanks so much, as always, for joining us. First off, why is the USDA making these changes now? Well, great question, Christine. These proposals are from the USDA, the Department of Agriculture's Dietary Guidelines for America. And they're the first real school meal reforms in 11 years. And they receive significant input from parents, from schools, from nutritional experts all over America. And the idea is that with challenges to the supply chain and, and food shortages, we should also not fail to thank our schools for working hard to serve healthy meals to students every day and to the Seattle School District for continuing to serve free meals to all students in one third of their schools. However, as you said, the USDA's goal is to reduce the level of sugars now seen in breakfast milks and menus and the amount of sodium or salt that is increased in most of the lunch menus. And as you said, the timeline to put these healthy changes into place is going to be in about two years and will extend four years. So in six years, the level of sodium in lunch menus should be less, 30 percent less than it is now. That's to allow schools ample time to make these improvements and to make healthier meals available. Doctor, you've been on before to talk about the importance of a healthy diet for young learners, for kids. Can you talk about the benefits? Well, uh, that's, that's again a great question. Parents know that healthy food is essential for normal growth and development. Science tells us that 20% of our daily calories go to fuel our brains. So hungry kids are less able to learn and think. Research reveals that eating meals at school results in better attention, classroom behavior, math achievement, and higher test scores. And menus with higher eating ratings further increased academic in achievement. So I would ask parents to check out monthly menus on the school district's websites to help their children make healthier meal choices. All right, doctor, thank you very much. Of course, a good meal. We want that for our young students to help them learn as best they can at school. Thank you very much, doctor.